Hey, what is going on? Uh, Everett here from Flying Alley Style. You've seen the channel. This channel is all about drones and tech. It's a brand new channel, just getting up and going. Uh, but today, I'm going to put up something a little bit different just because I think it's interesting. Um, over the holidays, um, my wife had uh, purchased for me or gave me as a gift the Mr. Beer Home Brewing Kit. I do like beer, and so she thought it would be a good hobby for me to get into to make my own beer. Um, this kit actually came with uh, the Oktoberfest lager and a Canadian Blonde Ale. Now the Oktoberfest is done. This takes about a month to get your brew ready for consumption. So today is the day it is all ready. I have two different bottles here. I have a plastic bottle which came with the kit. Uh, and then um, I also received an additional uh, set of glass bottles with the flip top uh, top pressurized. These bottles are made for... Uh, carbonated beverages so today's today we're going to test it we're going to taste them and see how it goes so i guess let's get right to it All right, so here we are. Let's get to it. This is the moment that uh, I have been waiting for. Which one should we do first? Should we do the flip top or the plastic? Mrs. Ollie Style says try the glass. So this is what we'll do. We will try the glass. Now, I don't know if we can hear the carbonation with this one, but we'll give it a shot. I hope you guys can hear it. I'll get my mic closer. Okay, so I did not hear any carbonation. Hmm. All right. But that could be because of the type of top. All right, let's give it a pour. All right, well, it's definitely carbonated. Not as much head on it as I would have thought. But a uh, little bit of a little bit of a head, not a lot. I do see carbonation. I know you guys probably can't see that, but there is carbonation bubbles on the side of the glass there. So let's give it a give it a sniff test because why wouldn't you? All right, smells like beer. Here we go. Actually, it's pretty good. It's actually, I'm very, I'm very surprised. I would definitely drink this on a football Sunday. It's caramelly. It's, it's ice cold because it was in the fridge for a few days. I'm thinking maybe a couple of more days um, um, of, it's got a, a, a very hint, a small hint of a cider taste, but not bad. It goes away, doesn't, doesn't linger. But it's uh, actually very good. Yeah. Uh, I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I would drink that all day. Uh, off camera, Mrs. Ollie's off camera. I'm going to give her a taste and, and see how she likes it. In the meantime, while Mrs. Ollie is going to that, we're going to try the one that's in the plastic bottle. Let's see how that came out. So let's see with this one. We'll see if you get any carbonation sound. I guess I get my mic closer. Yeah, you do. Definitely carbonation. This time I'm going to use a mug. Well, it definitely tastes like beer, but to me it's a little flat. Yeah, not as much carbonation. This one seems to have a little bit more carbonation. Again, I don't know if you guys can see that, and it doesn't have very good head retention. Uh, and this one had a little bit more of a head on it. Um, it definitely is carbonated. You can see the bubbles on the side. Let's see if there's a different taste from the glass to the plastic bottle. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm actually going to say the plastic bottle tastes better and is more carbonated than the glass bottle. Wow. I don't know why. Interesting. But we'll let Mrs. Ali taste that one and, and see. There's definitely more carbonation in the plastic bottle than there is in the glass bottle. Oh, yeah, it's definitely more carbonation. And I don't get that cidery taste with the plastic bottle as I did with the glass bottle. Maybe the glass bottle needs a little bit more conditioning, more time. Um, huh, I don't know. That's interesting. But my first batch of beer is delicious, and I'm going to eat my dinner now. I think we're having pizza, pizza and beer. Go figure. It's definitely good. Definitely like the plastic bottle better than like this. So I might need to leave these uh, conditioned for a little bit more, a little bit longer. It seems to be less carbonated in the glass and has a little bit of a cidery taste. The batch in the plastic bottle seems to be more carbonated, has a little bit better head and um, no cidery taste. All right, guys. So that being said, if you guys are out there, if you've done any uh, home brew making, uh, beer making uh, uh, stuff before and you have any tips or tricks for me, or you want any other uh, comments about the two that I've just tried, excuse me, beer, um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what's going on, what you guys think, if you've had any experience with this, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.